Hey everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. My name's Grant. Today's video, we're going to talk about gear trade in regrets. And this is the one piece of gear that I regret every single day for trading in. Let's roll that intro. Let's get straight into it. We've all been there, we all do it. I don't use this camera, I don't use this lens. I'm gonna trade it in for something I'm actually gonna use. And as soon as we trade that camera, that lens in, we instantly regret it. And for me, that piece of gear was a lens. Not a micro four thirds lens, but my old Canon EF 24 to 105. Versatile zoom lens. Man, I miss that lens. It was only the Mark I version, but I tell you, I absolutely loved it. I did get to a stage where that was getting particularly heavy. I used to adapt that lens on my Panasonic G9. With my Viltrox adapter, here it is right here. I used to adapt my Canon lenses to all my Panasonic Lumix cameras, and it was getting quite big, it was getting quite bulky. It did sit on the shelf for an extended period of time not being used for that very reason. So I traded that lens in. I actually traded that lens in for my Panasonic Leica 12mm f1.4, and I use that lens every single day. So it was very much worth the trade in. However, oh, I shouldn't have done it because every time I go back and look at the files that that lens produced with my Panasonic G9, I absolutely loved them. I use that lens and that camera combo for all my commercial work. Now I don't do a lot of commercial work, I'm a graphic designer, but I was using that combo a lot and it was great. <laughs> you couldn't really rely on the autofocus, especially in video, and it used to hunt a lot in stills. But if you work for it, the files were fantastic. And every now and again, when I'm on a job, I think to myself, geez, that lens would come in handy right about now. And for some reason, I did keep my Viltrox adapter. So I do have the opportunity if I see that lens at a good price again, maybe even the Mark II version, I can pick it up and adapt it right back on my Panasonic G9 or my GH5 Mark II. If you haven't adapted Canon lenses to your Micro Four Thirds cameras, you're really missing out. Now, as I said, if you're after autofocus, yeah. However, maybe on the new G9 Mark II, it might be better. But if you're willing to work for it in stills, the autofocus, work with it, that sort of thing, you get great results. And I think more than anything, that's what I miss the most. It's the results that that lens used to give me. And also the versatility too, that lens was great. I think it's even classed as a macro lens as well because you can get in super close to your products. Great product photography lens, great lifestyle lens, landscapes, street photography, it did it all. Yes, it was a bit too big and chunky and that's why I think I told myself, you know, trade that one in. But as I mentioned before, I instantly regretted it. And here and now in 2024, I feel as though that I would like to get that lens back add that back into my kit. Because if I do look at getting the Panasonic S5 Mark II later on in the year, I can adapt those EF lenses to that camera as well. You can't adapt Micro Four Thirds lenses to the L mount, we all know that. You can't adapt the L mount lenses to Micro Four Thirds. However, you can adapt the Canon EF lenses to both those cameras using the right adapter. However, we're not talking about that. We're talking about gear regrets, trading regrets, that sort of thing. 
And yeah, honestly, that has to be right up there with one of my biggest regrets. And how about for you guys? What gear do you regret trading in? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, let me know your feelings of adapting lenses to micro four thirds. I used to be a big advocate for it. I used to love it. I was getting a little bit heavy, but in the end, where my regret is, is the results that those lenses used to give me. Anyway, let me know what you think. And if you like this sort of stuff, please do consider subscribing to the channel. That helps me out a lot. Big thumbs up for the video, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.